so today's video is gonna be this unicorn frappuccino gone wrong tutorial. I really wanted to do a take on a unicorn, but I wanted to do something that was kind of different. So this is what I came up with. So I hope you guys like this. This is definitely a different kind of unicorn look, but I still think it's cool anyways. I'm also wearing some colored contacts from PinkyParadise.com. These are the anime ones. They are very comfortable in my eyes. They, I basically don't even feel them, which is really good because I have these other contacts that are scalera contacts and those are so hard to get into your eyes, but these ones were a piece of cake and I'll leave a link to them down below if you guys are interested. Interested. If you guys want to see how to get this look, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on my normal foundation, but I'm going to go ahead and skip that, and then when we come back, I'll show you what to do next. So we're going to actually start on our eyes first, and I'm going to be going in with some of my Poison Plum by Sugar Pill. <laughs> be going in with Sugar Pills Mochi and I'm just gonna be putting this kind of like not directly in the inner corner but pretty close to that. But we're just gonna kind of want to make a gradient with the purple and the blue. Now I'm gonna put some more Poison Plum on the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take some Taco by Sugar Pill and put that on the lid to make everything super bright and white. Now I'm gonna take some Shadow Insurance by Too Faced and I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner so I can put some really pretty sparkly glitter there. Once you have the glitter on, now you can take your uh, NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil and Milk and line your waterline. Now I'm going to be applying some mascara to my top and bottom lashes. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my House of Lashes in the style Iconic. So now I'm going to move back onto the face and I'm going to do blush. And for blush today, I'm going to be using Sugar Pills Dolly Pop Eyeshadow. For highlight today, I'm going to be going in with Kat Von D's Thunderstruck for a really nice pinky glow. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your Starbucks cup and you're going to want to put this on your head somewhere. I'm going to put mine conveniently right on top of my bun. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to make it seem like the um, Starbucks Frappuccino is like dripping down our face into this eye and then we'll just make it like drip on this side of our face. So I'm just going to secure this with some bobby pins and then I'll be right back to show you what to do for the dripping part. So once you have your cup secured, you're going to want to go in with some water activated paints and I'm going to go in with some pink, lavender, and a blue to get this a gradient drip frappuccino going on our face. <laughs> adding some Dolly Pop by Sugar Pill, Poison Plum, and a Mochi to these colors to make them extra vibrant and also set them in place so they don't move anywhere during the night. So now for the next part, we're going to want to adhere our unicorn horn to our face. And I made this out of some Model Magic by Crayola. All I did was I took two little pieces, I rolled it in my hands like this, and then I twisted it together, and then I just molded it in my hands, and I did it like this, and then I, at the tip, it got obviously really uh, tiny, and then I just also twisted them together to get the cone shape. So I'm also going to color this, I'm going to color this and make this kind of like a pastel unicorn horn, and to do this, I'm just going to be using my water activated paints, but I'm going to actually color this off camera. So here's what my unicorn horn came out with after I colored it. I decided to do kind of like a pastel rainbow because I feel like that fits a unicorn pretty well and I'm gonna be putting this on my head with some spirit gum so it looks like it's growing out of our skin so once the spirit gum is sticky you can go ahead and apply the horn to your forehead so now I'm gonna actually add some liquid latex around the base of the horn so this is super secure and it's not gonna come off and now I am gonna be adding some cotton to this so it sticks and makes it look like it's sticking out of your skin Once you have your 
base of latex and cotton around the horn. You can go ahead and wait for this to dry. You will know that it's dry when it turns like a yellowy color. So now I'm going to go ahead and paint the latex around the horn and I'm going to be making it actually a skin color because realistically if it was popping out of your skin then it would be a little bit bloody. Actually be really bloody. So I'm just going to use my Mehron palette. I'm going to be using a light brown color first and then we're going to go in with the darker brown and then we're going to go in with a little bit of red. going in with some cherry cola by makeup geek to get some of the bruising around the horn going so while our horn is drying we're gonna go in with some dream house liquid lipstick by Jeffree Star so now what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to take your tweezers and start picking some holes where you put your unicorn horn gash Once you have something like this, we're going to fill in the gaps in between the your skin and the unicorn home with some red face paint and then we're going to fill this with some blood. So now we're going to be taking some Ben Nye Thick Blood and we're just going to be putting this in the gash. Now I'm going to be adding some liquid blood as well to get a little bit of some drips going. So I didn't really want this to drip on my face, but um, if you don't like it, don't do it. But we're just going to roll with it. So now I'm going to go back in to this Frappuccino dripping on my face because I want to add some white face paint to it to make some highlights as if it's white. So since I have this one streak going down my face, I'm going to make another one on the side just so it's like a little bit more even because I think it looks weird with just one little drip. So now I'm going to add a little bit more pink to the frappuccino side because I feel like it's not pink enough. So now I'm going to add some glitter to the frappuccino side and I'm just going to be using the same glitter that we were using before. And after some final touches I'm going to splatter some blood up around the horn and then I'm also going to splatter some pink, blue, and purple on this side of the face to uh, give it this like kind of like messy look, I guess. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of glitter glue and I'm gonna put a little bit of glitter like on the top of my lip right here. So here's my final look. I hope you guys like it. I don't know how I feel about this blood dripping all the way down my face, but it was kind of like an accident and like once you get blood on your face, it's kind of hard to get off. So I kind of just roll with it, but if you don't like that, you don't have to do it. You can kind of just leave the blood up here. These colored contacts definitely make it really awesome. If you guys like this video make sure you share it with your friends and leave a comment down below guessing what tomorrow's video is going to be because I would love to know your guesses and that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!